something kind of unique about us too. When we ship your uprights, so these are cedar solanica glaucas that are going to be shipped out. We wrap them with netting to protect the lower foliage. And we found that when we were, these packages are wonderful for the roots and they ship really well, but they are soft walled. So one of the benefits to them is that when they sit on the ground, their soft bottom forms to the ground and they don't blow over so bad. When we're stacking them, they're still soft. They're still gonna do their thing. And so we found that they like to squish a little bit here. And so to protect the foliage, we just wrap everything. It's like unopening a little present when you get them. So, but it protects the foliage and our credits just dropped. We went from having one or two per truck would have a break to none, pretty much none. So just give them a little time to fluff out and they're good. Um, some of these larger shrubs are our newer line that we're pushing now. These are 10 gallon limelight hydrangeas. Again, we tie them up. We want them nice and tight so the branch isn't gonna get broken when we're stacking. And you can see they're just starting to leaf out. It just makes an excellent size plant. But these are things that we do in advance of shipping that just adds to the protection to your plants to make sure that everything arrives safe and sound. Tying up this, it seems silly, right? To tie up a globosa. But, and this is Montgomery in particular, but it saves so much when you're trying to stack it and you're trying to get a certain lean on the truck to fit as much material on as possible. If you can keep the fluffy plants a little less fluffy, you can fit more on, you keep that lean, which is safer for the workers and safer for the plants, safer for the unloaders as well. Um, and ultimately we save a lot of dollars in freight by being compact and by being efficient in that way and being prepared too. So when the trucks arrive, uh, originally when we first took over this nursery, that we were averaging about six hours to load a truck. At this point now, with our dock foreman and having put three years of work into our very skilled crew, uh, our record for a full truck uh, was mostly three gallon material, was an hour and 20 minutes was our record. 